Hello from D Life. Uh, today I would like to talk about one of the articles in, on D Life website about diabetes friendly cooking oil. N6 Pufa loaded vegetable oils. This is by Rajneesh Bhatia. You can find it's a very detailed article about uh, the contents, the ingredients, uh, what, what forms the Pufa oils and how they are good or bad. I am only briefly touching certain points. So uh, till we, uh, till recently, till the big com commercial establishments did not start promoting oils. None of us bothered about what oils we use for cooking or what oils others were using for cooking. And we simply used whatever oil was lo locally available. In Kerala, we used coconut oil and sesame oil in a little, a little of sesame oil for a certain, uh, certain preparations like pickles and achas and dosha. Otherwise, it was all coconut oil. In um, uh, in the north, there the, the many of the people used uh, mustard oil. Mustard oil was uh, uh, is a favorite with the Bengalis. They use it uh, for cooking. They fry fry the fish first in mustard oil and then make a curry out of it. The mustard oil has a very fishy smell and taste. So everybody was used to their local oils, and they were they found uh, they developed a liking to that. Then came the company called Crisco with a hydrogenated fat, a, tri a trans fat product which they marketed as healthy and tasty. India followed with Dalda, Pakav, Rath etc. And these Dalda, Pakav, Rath, I remember the some of the advertisements um, of, the da of Dalda, the taste was uh, stressed most and we all found it very tasty because with Dalda the the fried items became very crisp and the crispness would last we could make cakes with dalda substitute uh, half of the butter with uh, less than half uh, dalda and uh, we used to feel so we are using less fat in this cake and uh, it used to taste it, the crumbliness uh, went out of the cake and it was uh, it had a better texture with dalda and butter combination and in um, certain cooked items like upma, uh, biryani, adi adding dalda along with ghee added to the flavor. So dalda became very popular until we were warned about trans fats and how they affected heart health. So then uh, it was a fake ghee as far as the north was concerned and fake butter for us. Then came uh, the promotion of polyunsaturated fatty acids. So when uh, dalda became uh, known to be unhealthy, coconut oil was also promoted as an unhealthy oil. Coconut oil, so the idea of uh, coconut oil as an unhealthy oil was promoted saying that coconut oil solidifies in winter and that means coconut oil inside your body will solidify. So our body temperature, coconut oil is never solid at our body temperature. Unless we are dead, the temperature does not go down below a certain level and the coconut oil does not solidify within our body, contrary to what we were told. So they promoted the polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids, which does not solidify so easily because they do not have the hydrogen atom that saturated fats have. Uh, these kind of oils are um, have, uh, made into vanaspati by hydrogenization and then it solidifies. But the danger according to Mr. Bhatia of these pufa oils are they become rancid very quickly and uh, they are unstable and prone to oxidization and this oxidization prior to our consuming it causes trouble for us it makes it one makes one of the worst things to take in as food however the food industry tells us that it is very healthy monounsaturated fatty or, or acid also becomes 
rancid easily. Rancidity produces harmful toxins. In omega-6 oils or the PUFA loaded oils, they have the produced the worst form of toxins. And these are called oxidized linoleic acid metabolites. The PUFA oils are li contain linoleic acid. And what does, what does this toxicity mean? Cooking with these oils lead to, uh, lead to lung cancer in China. Lowering dietary linoleic acid reduces bioactive oxidized linoleic acid metabolites in humans. So um, oxidized linoleic acid metabolites are harmful and lowering dietary linoleic acid from PUFA oils helps us maintain better health. Excess N6 linoleic acid consumption causes remodeling of molecules in the mitochondria. Mitochondria are the energy producing bodies in the cells. Then increase in N6 consumption rapidly remodels cartilage. This drives out the most stable, more stable omega-9 fatty acids or oleic acid as in omega-9 MUFA. This also happens in the mitochondria. The mitochondrial dysfunction and DNA damage is a typical signature of metabolic syndrome and diabetes. Replacing saturated fatty acids with PUFA does not protect your heart. These ox lamps, this oxidized uh, linoleic acid metabolites cause induce inflammation, cause inflammation, increasing inflammatory markers and that is the most heart unfriendly thing that can happen to you. This oxidized linoleic uh, oxidized LDL is the second best known predictor of heart attacks and exceeded only by oxidized LDL HDL ratio. This is just the tip of the iceberg according to Mr. Bhatia and he therefore promotes saturated fats rather than unsaturated fat. Monounsaturated fatty acids are also similarly um, handicapped in in their proc, uh, proneness to rancidity but we need the omega-6 from s some of the MUFAs like flaxseed oil and uh, extra virgin olive oil so we must store them in the proper manner and uh, according to him according to Mr. Bhatia and according to D-Life and according to me also the best oil for cooking is coconut oil ghee or butter and the worst for cooking is the polyunsaturated fatty acids for cold use as in salads extra virgin olive oil and flaxseed oil are best so uh, if you go to the website you can further read about these and also find 10 questions and answers on diabetes and LCHF lipids the role of lipids and how lipids can be helpful or unhelpful. So have a good day.